three, two, one. What I do, baby? Welcome back, everybody, to another podcast with yours truly, Tim V. And oh boy, oh boy, we live in March. What is it? Right now, it's March thirteenth, which is April thirteenth, which is a perfect timing to post another episode. But here we are, doing the Lord's work. Talking about sports, how they affect our lives from a bench player、um, point of view, I guess. Because as as you all know, that、um, I haven't done professionally any sports, <laughs> discrediting myself right now. <laughs> But、uh, I'm a huge fan of sports. So if somebody who does sports, they're gonna come up and talk to me.、Um, good luck, good luck. But anyway. Enough of bragging. Enough of bragging. Yo, there's a lot to unpack today.、Um, I definitely want to talk about、uh, more about、um, one sport rather than multiple because a lot of things are happening right now. As you have heard from different、uh, news sources, wherever you go and read, or ESPN or Sports Center, wherever you want to go, we always see the information about. Uh, different major sports closing down, and I'll talk about that in the next in depth in the next episode because I'm really curious about how 2020 is going to look like, because that's going to be, you know, we, 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 you know, in the next couple of weeks we're going to be talking more about how the sports is going to look like, the positive negative aspect of it. We're going to be talking about、um, yeah, Olympics. Honestly, I'm so curious because I I am in love with、uh, summer Olympics. Um, as probably it's at some point it was my dream to be a part of Summer Olympics. I I couldn't. I'm I'm still a white trash boy, so I'm not really sure where exactly I would fit. But Summer Olympics always sounds great. Um, so I'm excited about you know、uh, upcoming next you know upcoming episodes and trying to figure out how to make it entertaining, but at the same time not not cry a river about. Sports and how things are going to be. So, for today, I really want to focus on boxing, and I feel like this is something that, you know, since I'm, in my, I'm sorry, I'm about to turn 26, which means that I'm an old fella. I'm an old prune, and so we're talking about boxing, where it's been one of my favorite sports ever since I was nine years old. I think eight years old. When I found out that my dad is into boxing, it was like interesting.、Uh, seeing blood is fun to you, Dad. <laughs> It's just a seven-year-old kept on judging, you know,、uh, basically my creator. And so, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun because we we got to go into. I I probably shouldn't be saying this, but we got to some fights.、Um, my mom still doesn't know about it, and we should keep it under wraps. But.、Um, We've gone to a couple of fights. My dad showed me a couple of fights as well, and we've been, you know, since I'm Ukrainian, we've been a fan of like we've been following Klitschko brothers ever ever since I was able to understand what they're doing and the way they would move in the ring, the way they would train,、uh, their camps in Germany and all that. It was all interesting because I always felt like Germany is such a cool place just because the Klitschko brothers used to train there, but. You know, I grew up. You're, you're.、Uh, I'm an old prune, as I said. So right now, I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing how things are gonna be in the boxing in 2020. Because, you know, for those people who understand boxing, you know that there's a lot at stake right now in 2020, especially not just for any boxers. I'm talking about the heavyweight championship. Uh, 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 belts we're talking about、uh, lightweight right now, and especially up and coming boxers like Ryan Garcia right now. So I'm super interesting to see how 2020 is gonna look like because 2019.、Um, if you're not a boxing fan, that's that's totally fine. Like I, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to educate as well as have a conversation. So I'm really curious about.、Um, Uh, you know, seeing how 2020 is gonna play out because 2019 has been such an interesting year, and yeah, I'm just gonna say it. You know, say the way it is. We had two fights with、um, Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz, which in the first one, Andy Ruiz won. He got all four、uh, heavyweight championship belts at、uh, WBC. 
uh, no, no, I'm sorry, not WBC, uh, WBO, FBO, I, I always forget, there's so many abbreviations, there's so many categories, it's just, the reason why it's interesting to know that there are four belts is because not many people want to have all four, because you have to, like, once you reach having all four, not for all four, but there's more than that, but the more belts you have, the more you have to defend. So you're not fighting to get more belts. You're fighting to protect the ones that you have. And that the mentality of it is such a... It's a messed up feeling. But at the same time, I've never been in that position. So if you're a person who has four heavyweight championship belts, like uh, Josh, uh, Anthony Joshua right now, then, dude, all all power to you. That's amazing. But we, we've seen him lose four and then gain four back. And uh, we're going to see them, you know, We've seen um, this up-and-coming boxer. Up-and-coming, I mean, uh, uh, Ryan Garcia. Up-and-coming, I mean, he's been fighting for the past, ever since he's he's been a little kid, but like professional, I guess, he when he was 16. Right now, he's 21. So the last five years has been trying to get into that routine and into that championship uh, level. And, I mean, the guy was born to be a leader. The guy was born to be a a, a, a a winner I, I'm, I don't want to say uh you know a, a champion because dude that yeah I, I don't know that's interesting uh a champion would be a mindset but at the same time you have to prove that you're a champion so it's like is it a mindset or is it a work like were you born with it or you have to do it and ryan garcia proves that you have to work for, you can you know you can you can have a special talent or natural talent but if you don't work on it then it's terrible. So Ryan Garcia has been a part of, uh, you know, Canelo, uh, Canelo team, which, you know, most of us know Canelo is, you know, Mexico's version of, I guess, uh, was it, uh, Pacquiao, Pacquiao as in in Philippines, you know, he's that staple where, you know, he's, he's the saving soul of Mexico. And there's a lot of fights right now in, in the U S uh, represented in U S represented in the UK, especially Ukraine right now, Russia and so Mexico, U S UK, uh, Russia in, in Ukraine. So five, I mean, there are other countries represented, but it's just like, these are the major countries who have different, you know, uh, different staples, I guess, people who are actually like fighting have like, they have championship, they have those belts. But as of right now, you know, boxing has been such a developing sport because before in the early 2000s, it's, it's, it's been huge with Klitschko brothers and everything. And uh, a lot of people were watching, but now with you know with the uh, the rise of UFC and everything that's been happening there, I think that it's been quite an important adjustment for boxing. If you ask me, I don't think that boxing will ever disappear, but I do believe that it can be threatened by other sports because the most important thing is people watching the fight. Of course, you can be one of the best, one of the greatest, but if nobody wants to watch you fight, then Sometimes it feels so redundant, and so I feel like, you know, uh, if you're not an interesting fighter, or if you're not breaking any records or anything like that, it is so challenging to do great things because you can be an amazing fighter. But again, it's just such a twisted world. I, if somebody's really good, I would definitely want to go and watch them fight. If somebody's just there for the money, it's so hard because. You know, before Anthony Joshua was a hero to me, somebody who was like, man, this this guy is amazing. But then we have, you know, the second find him getting, what is it, 60 million and then uh, 40 or 60 million, can't remember. But Andy Ruiz, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know how to say his last name, but uh, he got like a little under $10 million, which is like, you he beats you what's the like why can he get more money but because of the promotions and people want to go and see Anthony Joshua and all of that but anyway um definitely boxing took a dive in about 2014 to 2018 when UFC became so popular and everybody's like yeah there's more blood you know but we're you know we now we're seeing this wave of new fans liking boxing and to be honest with you I think that um I think it's been a part 
uh, of you know the whole YouTube boxing scene that it became such an explosive thing, and they would get twenty thousand, you know, twenty thousand people arena to watch people, and then they would like just break the you know pay per view records because it we're talking about YouTubers who's never fought, and now we just want to see them fight because it's such an entertainment, you know, and that's what it is. It's inter- entertainment, and so. You know, with the recent recent fighting situation and stuff like that, um, we had Tyson Fury and Deont- Deonta Wilder happening in 2020. You know, this is their this was their second fight. It was February 22nd. They fought, and the first fight was in a draw, and then Fury, you know, gained some weight, and then he lost, and. You know, whenever their last one, I th- I think Fury was uh, like over 300 pounds. Over no, 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 I take it back. He was like around 400 pounds or something like that. 400 pounds. Depression. He did some drugs. He wasn't well. But then when he was preparing for this fight, he was 273 to something like that. 273, uh, which is like 200, uh, 120 something kilograms, which is like. Heavyweight champion. That's that's about it. Like that's what uh, that's what uh, Anthony Joshua would weigh usually for a fight. Uh, he would he would be like one fourteen one nineteen kilograms. So I guess like it's something again. Yeah, two hundred something pounds. Um, but Wilder was two hundred and thirty one pound, which is like a hundred and four kilograms, and so. You know, everybody's like, oh my gosh, that's it, Deontay Wilder is going to crush his spirit. Because, you know, before, uh, in the first fight, we seen Wilder knocked him out. Uh, no, I'm sorry, knocked him out. But, like, he, he punched Fury in 12th round. And then everybody's like, okay, that's it. Wilder started walking the ring, and then Fury just gets up and starts beating him. But not everybody has seen that, you know, in that fight, prior to that, Fury has been... You know, making Wilder his punching bag, and so it was—it was beautiful to watch. I know that's such a psychopathic thing to say, but it was beautiful to watch those two men fight for the right to be the greatest. And then all of a sudden, you know, second fight, and then we've seen Fury won. You know, Fury win, and if I put money on it, I would definitely put on Fury because, again. It, Obviously, it's about the spirit, you know, it's about like being able to be present in that time and, you know, especially preparing for that fight. You know, you have to be, you don't, you have to prepare, but do not over prepare because sometimes over preparing uh, becomes such an issue. And so, uh, and I think maybe that's what happened to Fury. Maybe that's what happened to uh, in the first fight. And that's what happened to Wilder in the second fight. Uh, you know, obviously, Deontay, he was like, you know, uh, complaining that he did, you know, he lost because uh, his suit was too, too heavy. It was like 40 pounds or something like that, which I'm like, come on, bro. Like, don't, don't be like that. You lost your lives. Don't, don't don't make yourself a fool. You know, don't make a fool out of yourself. There you go, Jesus. <laughs> but then we, you know, they, all of a sudden, Deontay Wilder wants to exercise his right to have a third fight, which, yo... What the crap, man? A third fight? Everybody else who watched the fight, and they say, we don't need a third one. Like, we already know who's who's the king. If you weren't able to beat him, that's the same thing with, uh, with, with Logan Paul and KSI with JJ. You know, like, we've we've seen JJ and KSI, uh, JJ and Logan having, you know, two YouTubers having a draw in the first match. Uh, you know, first fight, and then the second one is, uh, you know, KSI won because he was prepared more, he was focused more, he was everything you want to be. He was he was smart about the fight and everything. So, and um, you know, th- that's something that I'm like, that's that's really good. Like, I really enjoy that. I, I, I watched that fight as well. It was like it was six in the morning my time. It was a lot of fight. It, it was a lot of fun. But then. Fury and Wilder third fight. I don't think it should happen. Um, uh, I think people would watch it because it's you know they want to do the same arena. They want to do sometime in July, but it's unofficial. They're they're just like you know no contract has been signed. Nobody's training for anything right now. But 
between March and July, there's enough time to prepare for the fight, and especially if they just fought a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, three weeks ago or something like that, they're still in that, they still need to take a couple of weeks off, but then, you know, go back in the camp and start training. Uh, but I'm curious how things are going to be, because if they fight together, it's not just about them, it's about people, you know, wanting the WBC belt, and Tyson Fury has it right now. But Tyson Fury wants to fight with Anthony Joshua, because obviously it's going to be a money grab. Uh, At the same time, Tyson Fury deserves to fight with legit people, you know. Not to say Deontay Wilder isn't, but, you know, Deontay, he uh, he wanted to fight Joshua and he was like 50 mil, but he didn't have the money. And so it was obviously it was about the money. And I feel like Deontay is finally realizing like, OK, I need to be a better boxer because before it was about the money. And he's such a again, I don't want to trust him. I don't want to trust them. Both of them are phenomenal fighters. Both of them deserve everything going their way. But I'm just saying that in the light of how they were fighting in the last fight, based off of that, it feels like Wilder needs to like tone up and understand that this is a fight for, you know, he's never he, he's never lost a fight, right? Tyson Fury uh, never lost a fight as well, I think. Or both of them had one draw against each other, obviously. But Wilder, he needs to get back into that mentality of like I am a winner because he feels like this fight has shook shooketh his faith in himself and so I think that it's gonna take a while but I think that the next fight is gonna be with somebody else. I, I think that they need to pause it again to build a to build a momentum. I'm sorry, not momentum to build something that they were like, okay, I really need to um uh, you know, like I wanna, I wanna see that fight, but right now it's like I just seen that fight. You know, like it's too much. You know, like if you eat too much sugar, boom, you don't want to have sugar again. If like if if you're having too much of something that's really good, then you don't want to have it like right away. So give us another year or something like that to build up. Like why should we see that fight? Because it's one thing to, you know, have a fight. Another thing is to want to watch that fight. You know, so I think that. Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury is going to be interesting, but most likely, I don't know how it's going to happen because Anthony Joshua, all his fights are on the zone because of his contract. And Tyson Fury, his his fights are on ESPN per pay-per-view. So the zone is a subscription thing and um, Tyson Fury uh, in ESPN is pay-per-view. So it's going to be interesting to see how things, how the fight is going to be. I don't think it's going to happen, but there's just there's just going to be a lot of interesting fights happening in 2020. I thought that that's going to happen, but with the, this whole virus situation, I think that we just need to pause our enthusiasm just for a little bit and start training, start start understanding who's going to be the ba- who's going to be a better opponent and listen, you're beating the crap out of each other. You deserve the money that you're ask the sorry, that you're asking for. So, you know, uh, if you want to, what is it? Canelo got such a huge, he's got like a little over $300 million for like 13 fights, 12 fights, something like that. So the guy knows that he's beating other people up because somebody paid him to. And it's a, it's a great mentality because like, man, they're so, like, they're amazing. Like money made weather. He fought that kid uh, exhibition. I don't know. It was a year ago. It was the last uh, last February, not this February, like a year ago, beginning of 2019. He fought this kid from exhibition. The kid was like 19. You know, Mayweather is like I don't know, 112 years old. But he fought him, and the the fight the fight was uh, 30 40 seconds long, and he got nine million. So I'm talking about like the fight was like so quick is that the and and Mayweather got nine million out of it. So you know there's obviously danger and risk and fighting, but if you get the money, then go get the money. But make it interesting for us to watch, you know. So to everybody who is supporting Tyson Fury, keep supporting him because he he's definitely gonna do a lot of good things outside of WWE contract that supposedly he might have. 
And then uh, Deonta Wilder, please get better and please well, bring the champ back. Because I, I don't want to say I'm for one or the other, but when it comes down to like weigh-ins and press conferences and everything, the way you behave and the way you act, you know, I it's it's a weird example, but have you like you know how um, um, what's his name Conor McGregor the way he like trash talks his opponent, but then after the fight he's like great fight you're a great fighter thank you for doing this, you know so there's a level of respect so I would love to see something interesting I would love to see something super Gucci, and then uh, you know it's something that I would you know since I'm in Ukraine and. Uh, a lot of a lot of fights, especially this one. If if we if we see fight three, Fury and Wilder, uh, it's gonna be five or six a.m. my time. So please make sure it's worth waking up for you know. And uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited because I I love boxing. I love the uh, you know I, I love training. I love the idea of seeing two men fight. Um, because again, I I think it's something like mentally about it or something like that. But I I think that it's gonna be definitely worth it. Um, watching in 2020 because of this virus, uh, a lot of things are gonna be canceled. A lot of sports have been canceled. Thankfully, NFL hasn't been canceled. So, but we'll see. So for now, um, please get better. Make sure you wash your hands as if you've never washed your hands before. And I hope that. Things that are going to be going your way, uh, every, every single fighter that's uh, trying to fight. I'm really, uh, Riley, um, what's his name? Oh, man, I forgot his name. There's this fighter that I'm really watching right now. If we, okay, uh, if you've seen YouTubers fight KSI's coach, <laughs> I forgot his name. Before he joined the Mayweather camp, but, um, oh, man, I forgot his name. But anyway, Riley something. Uh, I'll look it up. I'll 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 make sure you you guys can look it up. Don't don't make you know. Uh, you do the homework, all right? But he he just had his fourth professional fight and he won. And he is, I think, around he's under two hundred pounds. Obviously, he's not gonna be a heavyweight champion, but I think he's like midweight champion. I, and I'm I'm definitely hoping. I, I really want to see him fight as well again. And I think it's gonna happen in the next couple of months. But anyway. Uh, boxing scene uh, took a dive definitely but it's back uh, a lot of things are going to be going boxing way so please stay tuned I'm really excited to see what's going to be happening there are a bunch of other sources that you know I would encourage you to uh, read up and you know obviously you know if if you want to you know a boxing premiere or something like that um you know, if you want to read up, definitely do. There's obviously other resources. Read up on ESPN, Sports Center, something like that. I always, you know, I always go to sport uh, ESPN. I really like it, so you should, you know, you should check it out. If not, stay connected, stay tuned. Uh, thank you for listening to Bench Player Sports Podcast. Uh, thank you for your loyalty and sticking together. And for the two and a half people that listened, or three and a half right now, because we got another, <laughs> we got another person. But thank you to everybody who's listening, and um, yeah, and just you know, keep coming back and <laughs> listening to my old prune's voice. So thanks a lot, and have a yeah, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and you know, be safe. All right, that's been it. Take care. Bye. Okay.